Hello friends, welcome to TextradiCell. Recently, Adreno launches a new IoT-based microcontroller called Adreno Nano ESP32. From the name, you can understand it has inbuilt ESP32 chip. So apart from the Adreno, it has all the features of the ESP32 microcontroller. During the video, we'll discuss some key features of this microcontroller and also make some IoT projects like controlling LED, monitoring sensor reading through internet using this microcontroller. So after watching the complete video, you can easily use this microcontroller for different type of IoT projects. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now first, let me download the datasheet for this microcontroller. So I will just Google Adreno Nano ESP32, then I will visit this page. I will also share the link of this page in the description then I will scroll down and from these two link I can download the datasheet and the schematic let me open the datasheet first so here you can see they have provided all the details in this datasheet and also highlighted the key features of this microcontroller so here you can see it has Wi-Fi Bluetooth like other ESP32 board and it has also 14 digital pin, 8 analog pin. These are the pin details for SPI, I2C and UART. So in short, this microcontroller has all the important features. Now let me jump to the pinout diagram. So here you can see this is the pinout diagram which we will refer to make IoT projects later on. Now let me open the schematic of this microcontroller. So this is the schematic of Adreno Nano ESP32 microcontroller. And here you can see this is opening with Altium Web Viewer files. As I said, most of the big electronic companies use Altium PCB designer software to design their new product. And you can easily design professional PCBs using the Altium PCB designer software. Now LTM came up with an amazing product called LTM 365. LTM 365 is an electronic product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can not only design PCBs, but you can also share your projects to your teammates for review. The mechanical team can also access the PCB files so they can parallelly work on the mechanical product package based on your PCB design. And there is no chance of losing design data with the automatic backup and centralized cloud storage. It also helps you to manage your components and get real-time supply chain data for all the components. It also allows multiple people to work on a single project and finally you can send your product to manufacturing with a single click. LTM 365 automates all of these tasks for you so that you can focus on making something creative and useful. And now you can download the free trial version of the LTM PCB designer software from the video description. Now we will try to program the microcontroller using Adreno IDE. So first we will try to blink this inbuilt LED which is connected with the D13 or GPIO48. You can also use MicroPython, but in this video, we will use Adreno IDE. So you can use any version of the Adreno IDE. Here you can see this is 1.8. You can also use the latest 2.1.1 version of the Adreno IDE. First, you have to download the Adreno Nano ESP32 board. So go to Tools, then select Board, then Board Manager then here type esp32 then you have to install this board esp32 by adreno here i have installed 2.0.11 version it is showing installed and if you are using new adreno id then go to board manager and here you have to type esp32 then you have to install this adreno esp32 boards by adreno First, let me connect this Adreno Nano ESP32 with my laptop using a USB to C type cable. First, you have to select the board. So here you can see I have selected this Adreno Nano ESP32 1-1. Then I will go to files, example. Then I will select basic and click on blink. Then I will go to tools and in the port, I will select this 1-1 DEFU port and i have already selected the board now click on upload and if you face any issue i will suggest you to press the reset button before uploading the code you can see the code is uploading and here you can see the led starts blinking 
now we'll jump to the next project to control a led through internet so this is the circuit for the next project we will control this led through the internet using blink iot app and you can also control this led manually using this button so the circuit is very simple i have already made the complete circuit on this breadboard now let me go to the blink iot platform then i will go to template now in my last video i have already made this template to control a relay using esp01 but here we are using ESP32 so I will just edit this template and here I will give the name ESP32 then if I go to data stream here you can see I have created the data stream using v1 virtual pin and this is the web dashboard so the template is very simple let me save it I have just changed the board now I will add a device select new device from template select the template give a name now i will click on create now if i go to device info i will get all the details for this new device now i will open the sketch for this project so here you can see i will open this sketch link to wi-fi led first i will update the template id and authentication token so i will click here to copy all these details then here i will paste it now this is the wi-fi name and the wi-fi password and here you can see these are the gpio pins i have used now let me upload this sketch for that i will go to tools select the board adeno nano esp32 then select the proper port then hit the upload button now again before uploading i will just press the reset button to reset the microcontroller after uploading the code i will press the reset button to reset this microcontroller and after it connects with the blink server the inbuilt led will turn on here you can see this led is on which indicates now it is connected to the blink server first let me try to control the led with this push button you can see the led turn on if i press it again the led turns off now here you can see this is the blink iot app and this is the device we have added so let me turn it on you can see the led turns on now let me turn it off and i can also monitor the real-time feedback let me turn it off from this push button you can see i can monitor the real-time feedback now in the mobile dashboard i have just added a button with it if i go to setting so here you can see i have just added a button visit from this visit box this is the button visit and here i have just selected the virtual pin and mode is switch so after doing this setting you can control this led from mobile app now this is the circuit for the third project to monitor the sensor reading here we will monitor the temperature and humidity reading and here you can see i have connected the sensor with the arduino nano esp32 now again i will go to template and modify this template now this time i need two data stream to monitor the temperature and humidity reading so i will edit it here i will select double then in the name i will type temperature or temp minimum value will be zero maximum value will be 50 in units i will select celsius and also select a decimal point now i will save it then i will click on new data stream select virtual pin and here i will give the name humidity and the pin i will select v2 data type double unit percentage then minimum value will be zero maximum value will be 100 select the decimal point now click on create then in the web dashboard i will delete this switch visit and here i have to enter two label visit or you can also add two gauge visit let me add two gauge visit then i will select the data stream so our web dashboard is ready data stream is ready now i will save this template then i will click here then click on new device select from template then this is our template and now i will give the name then click on create you can give any name now let me open the sketch for this project so this is the sketch blink to dst11 let me open it so in this sketch you can see first 
we have to upload the template ID and authentication tokens. Then this is the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. So again, I will go to tools, select the board, then select the port, then hit the upload button. Now after uploading the code, I will just press the reset button. Then I will go to the Blink Web Dashboard. So after it connects with the Blink, we should get the reading. The main drawback of this microcontroller is the cost is very high, like $20 for a single microcontroller. Otherwise, it has some amazing features. You will definitely like it. So let me know your thought in the comment section. And for more such videos, please do subscribe our channel Tech Study Send and follow us on Instagram and join our Telegram channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.